So next, now we're going to discuss how not keeping this right arm pinned to our body in our backswing compared to having it away will produce more accuracy and club face control for us. So specifically, when it comes to club face control, we always hear about the thing called shallowing. Now, when we discuss this, why is shallowing important? Well, the reason why it's important is because when it comes to shallowing in our downswing transition, this position is going to incentivize us to rotate. Why? Because my brain knows that my ball, that the ball is right here. So if I have to pitch my chest steep, then now if I keep rotating, it's going to make it even steeper. So rotation, which is what we want from club face control, causes the club to steepen. So if I'm already steep, then I'm not going to be able to keep rotating. My body and my brain is going to know I'm going to miss the ball and move too far from out to in. So I'm going to react another way by early extending. So when it comes to keeping our right arm pinned to our chest, not pinned, pinned to our body or away from our body, how that's going to influence shallowing is by this, when it comes to the mass of this club head. So before I even get further, I'm going to give you an example. So when it comes to say if we have something heavy, right? If I had a huge rock, if I had it closer to me, would it be easier to control? Yes, it would. Versus if I had it further away from me, it would be harder to control. So basically, when it's closer to me, I have more control of an object when it comes to moving it, right? Versus when it's away from me, the object has more control of me. So a lot of times, to create momentum, say for example, I'm trying to throw a huge rock, I'm trying to get the club away from me as far as possible in order for my body to react to the momentum of this object and then I'm able to move through, which will reduce more force compared to if I had it super close, I have more control, but now my body isn't able to stretch as much, and then as well, I won't have much momentum from that object. So, same thing when it applies to the mass of this club head. So, if I take my backswing and I have it pinned to my chest, pinned to my body, as you can see, it's closer to me. So because of that, now my shoulder and my muscles has more control over the mass of this club head. And because of that, now I'm not able to, to produce as much momentum with the mass of this club head. And then from there, because I have more control of it, as soon as I come down, this shaft is going to steepen. And then as I come down, I have to early extend to not rotate more and get over the top. Versus if I get this right arm away from my body as much as possible, now, as we know, now the mass of this club head has more control of me. So again, now I'm creating more momentum. And then when I come down, as I rotate, the pitch of this shaft is going to shallow because the mass of this club head is outtaking my shoulder, is overtaking my shoulder. So my shoulder is more, has more control of this club when it's closer versus when it's away, it doesn't. And the mass of this club head is going to drop behind my shoulder because it's further away. So a lot of times we hear the quote, to gain control, we need to give up control. Well, in this case, this applies here. Because a lot of times when we have our backswing where it's too close to our body, we're trying to get more control. However, if we're trying to forcibly get more control, then we're going to lose some on the way down, which is one, not being able to rotate, have more club face control, and have some more speed. Versus when I give up control, so when I let the mass of this club head get away from me and my right arm to get away from me as well, then now essentially I'm giving up control because this mass of the club head is taking over. So from here, now my body has a chance to react to the mass of the club head versus me trying to control it too much. Then from here, we're able to shallow it. Now, since this mass of the club head is behind me, again, if I had this rock here behind me, now I'm incentivized to rotate because it's going to steep in the club, and then now we're right at line where we want to be, able to rotate, and then keep that club face more stable. So that's an analogy I want you to think of when it comes to why we want to get this right arm away from our body and our backswing. 
And that is how you're going to gain more club face control and more accuracy when it comes to getting that right arm away from you versus trying to pin it into your body. So next, I'm going to break down some drills in which you can apply this so it can become easier for you because a lot of times in order to make these changes, especially a change like this, that we need some drills in order to reverse the concept and apply it on the golf course. So hey guys, before we continue this video, I'm gonna ask you guys a question. All the swing talk, all the mechanics talk, and just improving our technique in golf in general, what is the actual purpose? Well, we know at the end of the day is to improve our scores where? On the golf course. However, what do we need to do to improve our scores on the golf course? Well, we need to practice properly and we need to identify our strengths and weaknesses to figure out what we need to prioritize to improve our scores the most efficient way. So, I want to give you guys something. I've recently made two ebooks. One, an ebook on how to apply how to apply your range game to the golf course by giving you a game to do daily on the range to help improve your performance as well as another ebook, a statistics ebook to help you keep track simply of your stats on the golf course, as well as to give you a detailed picture of your game so you can track the areas that you need to improve most in. So, if you want to know how to improve the quality of your practice when you go to the range to apply to the golf course, and as well to have a statistics ebook completely broken down in detail to help you show what you need to work on in your game in the back of your pocket, go ahead and click that link down below. So now, we're going to discuss two drills that you can do to help you not keep the right arm pinned to your body in your backswing but get it more away from you. So the first drill that we're gonna do are right arm only swings. So the reason why this is gonna help, because obviously if I only have one arm, I won't be able to have as much control of the match of this club head. And so I'm forced to get this club head more away from my body to produce more momentum to be able to hit a viable shot that goes ahead of me enough. Versus if I have two hands, then I can try to gain more control, which is what we, want to, which is what we don't want to do because we want to give up more control in order to get the mass of this club head more behind us and away from us. And then as well, when this gets more away from us, we're able to turn more as we discussed earlier. So what I want you to do is get like a short iron, so maybe a wedge to most of the eight iron. And you're going to take some small right arm only shots and it's going to be very little speed. So I don't want you to focus on killing it, but more so just making good contact and letting the club fall naturally from that position in the backswing where it's more away from us. So it's just like this. Try that again. Just like that. So as you can probably notice, when I had only one arm, the mass of this club is naturally gonna get my right arm away from my body because if I keep it pinned, then I won't be able to hit those shots. So that's the first drill that I want you to try. So the next drill that we're going to do to help you to understand the concept of not keeping that right arm pinned to your body is this glove drill. Now, a lot of times we know this glove drill infamously for putting it into our armpit 
and trying to keep this glove within the armpit to pin the right arm to our body. However, we're going to flip the script. What we're going to do is take this glove and I want you to put the tail end of the glove within your armpit and have the beginning of it to be sticking out. And from here, what I want you to do is to set up, and then the goal is, when you take your backswing, is to get the glove to drop. And as you can see, we'll have that space where we get that right arm away from us in our backswing. So what I'm gonna do is demonstrate this for you so you can understand how to apply what we're talking about today. So here it is. So put the tail end of the glove within the armpit and have a little bit sticking out. And we're going to set up and hit some small shots where we try to get that glove to drop as soon as possible. So just like this. So what I want you to do is try those two drills and the concept of this entire video. And down in the comments, let me know if you have any questions. And I hope to see you next time to tune into the next video.